That's right. We talked to that farmer today and he used his bulldozer to create that fire line last night. He went through his property and some of his neighbors. Now take a look at this video he took last night while he was digging that line. Mike Brown says he got started at about 730 last night and he showed us on a map about where he took his bulldozer. That line actually stretches over a mile. He traveled south straight toward the creek and back west. Now Brown says he didn't want to see such beautiful land burned by the wildfire. I wanted to stop it before we got to Red Rock Road or got on the Saddle Mountain. So I went in and back. I asked the Stewart family, they said, go ahead and back burn. It was five after midnight when I returned. Were you tired? No. Tired? But it, I mean, Why, how do you get tired when you're doing something you enjoy? And he enjoys taking care of himself and his neighbors. Great guy there. He also took this video today about where he dug the fire line. And it appears once the fire reached that line, it started to fizzle out. And he received quite a few messages from his neighbors thanking him for those efforts. Now, we spoke to fire officials today asking about this. They say they can understand why farmers would want to use their own equipment to get ahead of the fire, but they say once crews arrive, let the professionals take over because, of course, safety is the first priority. Reporting in Royal City, Amanda Roldy, Creme 2 News.